Kay Lewis Thornton is an AIDS activist who has been living with HIV and now AIDS for more than three decades. Her recently released memoir, Unprotected, details her childhood trauma and how it shaped the trajectory of her life. Ray Lewis Thornton joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, I think so many people don't know that when you were first diagnosed, it was it was way, way back oh, in the beginning. God, it was just so back in the beginning. Um, AZT had just hit the market when I was diagnosed, so that's how early in the AIDS epidemic, and they still weren't giving it to everybody with HIV. And we'd only known how to test for HIV for two years that's Crazy. when I was diagnosed. I donated blood, Red Cross, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sent me a letter. And told you. you that had. I was infected, yeah. yes. And you went public in such a bold way. Yeah. You went on the cover of one of the top magazines, top black magazines, and said, I am not gay, I am not a drug addict, I am educated, but I'm living with HIV. You know, it was really, really brave of both Essence and me at the time. You know, it was a magazine that was reserved for celebrities and supermodels. And Susan Taylor heard me speak for three minutes and asked me to be on the cover. Called me two weeks later and asked me would I be on the cover of her magazine. Mm. It, there was a little opposition within the company, but they sold more magazines that December in the history of their company. Oh. Mm. And it changed the face of AIDS for black women in America, but most importantly, it changed the discussion. At the time, African American women, um, we were like, AIDS was the number one killer of African Americans between the ages of 25 and 44 in 1994. And so it was a discussion that was needed and necessary. And I'm, I'm really grateful for, you know, women bring me that magazine in mint condition. Wow. Like, I, this changed my life. Will you yeah. sign it? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I got one cover with an eye scratch. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the book actually goes even back before that. So if people already knew the tough times you were going through then, there were tougher times before. There were tougher times. And what we did in the book was, you know, I traveled across the country, you know, telling bits and pieces of my story. And so I thought that it was really time to bring the story together. And so it starts when I'm six years old after my grandfather's death, when I am left unprotected. And my I began to live in a cycle of trauma, um, physical, emotional, verbal abuse, um, sexual abuse by the time I was 11, I had been molested by four adults. Mm. And so I show you what trauma looks like and how it shaped the trajectory of my life and led to HIV. And you know, trauma is something that's really hot and sexy now that we're talking about, mm. but we need to talk about it because um, what we found that childhood, adverse childhood experiences, the ACEs study, adverse childhood experiences actually lead to a disproportion of health disparities in mm. adults. And so, you know, it's time to have the discussion. Um, we, we do talk about environmental trauma and racism, which is absolutely necessary and impacts a child's life. But we need to talk about what happens in that child's home. So often we, um, we write a child off as, you know, disruptive, you know, all of these labels we have mm -hmm. for, and for young girls who are so unprotected, you know, young black girls mm -hmm. who grew up, grow up, you know, being called fast before they even know what, what that means, is. What that, and, you know, and, and means, yes, so, absolutely. So, um, so I, I trace my history, and you'll see what trauma looks like. And, you know, I tell people, buy the book, read it, take your time, drink some tea, because there's a lot not to digest And there's yeah. a lot you're going to learn about me that you never knew. So people are going to wonder, because I know one of, the, obviously, the most famous face of HIV and AIDS is Magic Johnson. They attribute that to him having money. But you didn't have that. You had people who believed in you, who fought for you, and fought for your health. Even though your case did yes. progress from HIV to AIDS. It did. It how did. You now? And, and, and still understand the, con the context of this disease. Uh, we're 40 years old with HIV, 41 years old now with HIV uh, in this country. And I've been infected for 38 years. I landed at Cook County Hospital mm. with an incredible doctor, March Cohen, who was the founder of the Women and Children HIV Clinic at Cook County, Stro now Stroger, now mm -hmm. the Core Center. But what we 
found was that HIV behaved differently in women with, with, with HIV. Women who were transitioning to AIDS, we were having more gynecological problems, mm. irregular yeast infections, chronic um, vaginal dysplasia, cancer. And so um, I landed at county at the right time. And I've stayed because the Core Center has been incredible for me. But you'll read in the book how I lost my health insurance. <sighs> going to work wow. for a political candidate that didn't mm. keep her promise to me. Yeah. And so I was like, my, my T-cell count was dropping and I was advancing the AIDS and I couldn't even get AZT because no one would insure me because I had a pre-existing condition. 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 And so I chronicled that. I chronicled how AIDS started to ravish my body, the, you know, the, um, the emotional impact that HIV had, AIDS had on me at the time. And really, you know, I kept my infection a secret for like seven years. And so Before when I you. disclosed, I disclosed because I was dying. And back then, the life expectancy was 18 months. Well, wow. you are a living tribute to public health. Yes. Thank you. To awareness, self-awareness, and self-determination and strength. Because your whole life has mm. been nothing but an example Thank of you. strength Thank and you. determination. Thank you, the grace of God, you know, that's yes. all I can say. Yes. Thank you for Ray coming. Lewis Thank, you for, Thank you for sharing your yes. story. Thank the you. book, Unprotected, is going to be released? No, it is released. It's, it's out. out. Oh, okay. Out. I thought we were still in pre-sales. No, it is out, so buy it. Get out Amazon there. Amazon online, Barnes & Noble online. It is out there. It has been number four. Uh, in the, the category of AIDS on Amazon. So keep buying. L Lots you know. to learn. Lots there. to learn. Thank All you right. so much Thank for you, joining Ray. us. Thank you, Ray. For having me. We appreciate me. it.